Hey, what's up guys? So, <clears throat> I always said that, I always make these excuses of why I'm not going to do videos. Um, and one of my biggest excuses is that I don't have time to edit. So, I just decided to do one on the fly. And if these headphones don't die, then um, it was meant to be. Um, anyway, I told you I would do a video of me on the river with my dog. So, we made it out here. They're chilling. So we just walked really far and it's hot today so excuse the sweat and whatnot but anyway what I wanted to talk to y'all about today is the biggest the secret to success and what they don't teach you in college and <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you and this might come to some of you as a surprise but um the secret to success and what they don't teach you in college is spirituality that is, I would say, the biggest disservice that um, you'll get in college. And the reason why I know this is because um, if you look at my channel, like if you're new here, you'll see um, that I had like, I had like 15,000 subscribers from doing my music. And back when I did my music, um, I didn't have a college degree. And a friend of mine gave me um, the book, Think and Grow Rich. And I wasn't really... I wasn't very evolved spiritually. I didn't meditate. So when I saw this book, um, when I got this book, I did read it and I did learn about the law of attraction and I didn't realize it worked. He, my friend actually told me, he was like, legacy, you can, um, you can use the law of attraction to attract tech nine. Cause I wanted to be on strange music so bad, not anymore, but back then I did. And legit, I attracted tech nine into my life and I ended up opening up a concert for him like a month later. And I only meditated like two times about it and it worked, but I didn't realize at that time that that's what I was doing. And so anyway, um, now that I've actually been, so anyway, I got, I had some misfortunes in a music career. I made another video 45 minutes long the other day. And, um, for some reason it's not wanting to upload. So I don't feel like talking about all that again. I got kind of emotional and if it's meant to be, it'll upload. But um, if it's not meant to be, I'm not going to rehash it all again because I went there and processed my emotions the other day. But I did a long video about um, where where I had been for the last four or five years and why I hadn't been posting videos. And I went back to college and um, I thought, you know, if I go and get this, because I felt empty inside for music. So I thought, well, if I go back and get an engineering degree, sit if I go back and get an engineering degree, then I'll be happy. I'll have what I need and what I'm missing. And so I go back and I, and I manifested an engineering degree. I manifested my job. When I got my job, I studied the law of attraction. So at first it started out as an internship and I said, well, I want to turn this into a co-op. So I did like the writing the piece of paper and having the paper in your pocket. And I said, I want to turn my internship into a co-op. Next thing you know, I had a co-op. And then I said, well, I want to turn my um, internship, I mean, my co-op into a, into a full-time salary position with the whole nine, um, 401k and all that. And I did that. And so I did all those things, but I was still feeling unfulfilled. And so I really, and I went through a bad relationship breakup, um, a couple actually, and um, I was really hurting. I mean, I was really hurting and I just came to an ultimate low like last fall. And so I really started digging deep, like what am I missing in life? What is it that I'm doing wrong? Because I knew the law of attraction worked, but why am I not happy? So I started researching how to be happy. And what do you know? It brought me right back to the law of attraction and right back to think, think and grow rich. And I was like, all right, what's the thing that I wasn't doing? I wasn't meditating. And so taking what I knew about the law of attraction and what I knew about think and grow rich and then actually putting in the work of meditating every morning and every night and I'm not gonna lie it's gotten to where I do my 15 minute uh, breaks at work I go we have a pond at work look see that's a beautiful thing that is a beautiful thing I love that anyway we're chilling out here got this aggressive breed right here <laughs> we're chilling um so but I got to we have a pond at work and nobody's ever out there it's so pretty too there's all these ducks so I start walking out there, I take my headphones, do a 15 minute meditation, and then nothing stresses me out at work. I hear people gossiping and negative negativity and all that, and it just rolls right off of me. Not every day is perfect, but definitely getting better and better and better. 
Um, so anyway, I started taking what, um, what I had learned and how I had manifested things with the law of attraction and then actually started doing the hard work. It's like, um, it's like a diet and, um, and a workout, you know how they go together. So you can have a healthy diet, but if you don't do the workout, you're only going to get part of the benefits. And if you work out, but you're still eating French fries and Mickey D's every day, you're only going to get part of the benefit. You got to do the hard work all the way holistically, all the way around. You got to do the hard work. So if you really want to be happy, you have to feel happy. And they don't teach you that in school. They teach you, and they also don't really teach you how to have a moral compass. Um, so they, they sort of teach you in college that at least in engineering, they teach you like almost like money and um, doing like what the company wants is like the right thing to do. But really what sometimes you might have to go against your manager. I do it all the time. And not that my manager is a bad person, but he, we're not on that same web like that. He's doing what his boss needs him to do or she right now I have all male managers as engineering, but I have had female managers before shout out Lily if you ever see this She's a badass. Anyway, um female engineers in the house <laughs> so anyway, um but um, so if you're um So sometimes you might have to go and it's very challenging when you so once you start getting spiritual and you start meditating a lot then you get tested and you're like, okay, this on one hand, this is good for the company. But on the other hand, this thing that I meditated about that I know is good for humankind are going against each other. And so you have to meditate about that a lot because, um, and, and the thing is, if you have a selfish motivation for it, if you have a selfish reason for wanting to do it, like if it's your ego telling you to do it, then it's not going to work. Um, it's just not gonna work if it does work you won't be happy that's how it was when I did it for legacy it was all about selfish reasons um, but on this new stuff that I'm on urban air mobility we'll get we'll do a whole video about that it's coming soon I'll have to actually prepare for that one um, but um, meanwhile if you're um, if you're doing it for something that's good for the universe that you want to give back and it's not about an ego or not about a selfish reason then you're gonna see that people you begin to attract people that were your mentors and that you looked up to and like I have attracted some of the most amazing engineers that have said legacy we're here to help they didn't say legacy they're like Danielle here we're here to help how can we help and um I'm just like wow and so as soon as I start to feel that little kind of ego trip meditate check it check it check it check it um because I did not know how to do that when I was legacy and I started thinking me 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 I'm the shit I'm the shit and I'm gonna tell you what that is that is a quick way to turn something good into something evil and so um, anyway they don't really teach you that in college but if you um, set if, especially if you're an entrepreneur and you have an entrepreneurial spirit you do not need college to do it I'm gonna tell you right here everything you need to know about business is on YouTube I've been learning about business models um, how to write a business pivoting how to write a business um plan business plan business model uh lean startup um everything because um i i don't get to make enough decisions at work and maybe i'm 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 manifesting this thing um for me to be sort of my own boss and i don't know if it's going to be through my company or through my own company um it, i trust that the universe will lay the path out but i'm still working on the business model and then the path will lay itself out but I know that it's gonna be something that I'm in charge of um, it has to do with urban air mobility um, drones air taxis hashtag not flying cars <laughs> anyway um, it's super exciting it's it's there's no emissions It's good for the um, environment or at least better for the environment um, and so anyway this video is not about that I don't want to take too long because I don't want this phone to die but um, watch me manifest that and watch it come towards you and um, you heard it first here. If you already heard about it, then say you heard about it. But if this is your first time hearing about urban air mobility, then put a thumbs up and say, this is my first time hearing about urban air mobility and watch how cool this thing is that's gonna come to your city that it will benefit all of us. It connects us all. It brings us all together because that's why we're really hurting inside anyway is because 
we're connected and when we're physically separated from each other that is painful especially if you live in a city that you're not from and you're far apart from your family that is painful i can relate that's why i kind of got on this urban air mobility trip in the first place is because i'm out here in wichita and i don't have family out here and it hurts it is painful so i'm like what can i work on that and i know if i feel this way i know other people feel that way so i'm like all right god how can i help people and bring us together and connect us and god brought this to my life and um i did not invent it if i did i'd be a billionaire already i didn't invent it but i see the vision and i'm definitely going to help bring the vision to you so um if you feel that and if you feel like you can start your own business without going to college then give it a thumbs up because i'm here to tell you that you definitely can and um yeah so another thing that they don't really tell you is um a business degree you don't need a business degree uh it's everything is on youtube how to be spiritual is on youtube how to meditate is on youtube how to how to conduct business right now we are in the most unique time that i have ever experienced in my life it reminds me of like if you look at like the ancient texts and they you know they would always be meditated and they seem like they had some kind of wisdom or some kind of knowledge that they were connected to and we tried to study that like what did they know that we don't know i'm telling you if you meditate you will find it and it's like your higher self your connection to the universe and understanding that we are all connected they don't teach you that in college how do i know because you do it it's just like a diet and working out you know you do that diet and you do that workout and you're like god i've been doing this for two weeks and i don't see any results all of a sudden after you do it for 30 days you start having results and it just takes that um, dedication and perseverance to keep doing it and then all of a sudden you'll start seeing results well it's the same way with your spiritual spirituality if you keep doing it and i would say like literally about 30 days and you do it every morning and every night like even you can just start with five minutes I'm still working on getting comfortable when people walk by a lot of people are walking by and I know they're wondering like what am I talking about I'm amped up but it's okay the universe has given it to me I'm not gonna be self-conscious I'm thankful thank you self for having the uh, nerve to go out here and make this video it's such a beautiful thing and it makes me so happy I love that um so anyway um if you um where was I at I lost my train of thought um Oh, so it's just like spirituality is the same way as your diet, as your working out. Um, you have to do it consistently for 30 days. And I'll give you guys a trick. Like the way I started was I wrote down on a card and I got this from a Napoleon Hill video that um, I'll link to it later. But um, it talks about, um, I think it might even be called The Secret to Success. I can't remember, but I'll find it and I'll link it. And he talks about writing down this card and you basically um, take it with you every day for 30 days of like what your dream is what you want to create and mine started with um so i started with um an urban it was actually evtol electric vertical takeoff and landing i don't want to get too technical on this i'm going to do a video i'm going to turn y'all all into aerospace engineers pretty soon you won't even need a degree to become an aerospace engineer but i'm going to do a video about that but this isn't the video for that so, but anyway, so if I say EV tall, I'm talking about electric vertical takeoff and landing. Um, but I wanted to have a job. I wanted to be working on that at my job. So I put a EV tall position at work and I carried that. And sometimes I didn't have a pocket. So I had to put it, I put it in my underwear, sometimes in my bra, whatever it took. I, a couple, couple times I flush it down the toilet. I'll go right back to my desk, write a new one. Well then, what do you know? Bam, it took like three weeks. I had the job. I created an R&D group that we didn't even have. I didn't create it. The universe created it. Um, I manifested it. We didn't even have that group. And I presented it to one manager. Then he brings it to more managers. Next thing you know, I'm on the group that didn't even exist that came off of that card. So now I'm like, oh, snap. I can take this bigger. And then I was kind of having some friction with like some management. I was like, we need to be going faster. We're going to miss it. We need to be doing this. We need to be doing that. So then I put on it um, eVTOL business. EVTOL job and or business and and that's kind of where I'm at today as I still don't know if it's gonna be um, an EVTOL job or an EVTOL business or both I know it's at least gonna be both it's gonna be for sure it's gonna be um, EVTOL business but I don't know if it's still gonna be the job I don't know if it's gonna be at my current job or if I'm gonna evolve past that it's just whatever the universe um, I'm just open to whatever you know open to whatever but anyway um, 
none of that I learned in engineering school. Yeah, you do need the technical stuff, but to be quite honest, there's a lot of stuff in engineering that the teachers explain it and the books explain it. And I'm like, huh? It didn't make a lick of sense. What I do, I would go to YouTube, find it on YouTube. Khan Academy is like 90% and just math jmt patrick jmt was like the first two years of college and then there was a chemist um I, I can't remember i think it was chemist nate that was another one um there all this stuff is on youtube and oh what i was gonna say about like the ancient days like we're in this so i've heard a lot of youtubers say we're in this awakening and i really think it's because information is so readily available and you realize like you can be on this natural high. You don't need pills. You don't need drugs. You don't need alcohol. I'm not perfect. I'm working on it, y'all. I'm working on it. I didn't drink today. I drink, didn't drink yesterday. I'm, I'm, I did, I was a vegan today. Well, I've, I've been a vegan since 6 p.m. We'll see how I do tomorrow, but I'm not perfect, but I'm, I'm definitely recognizing things that, um, raise my vibration and make me feel confident so i made some good choices okay i'm gonna take my dogs on a long walk i'm gonna have a good raw vegan meal ate some fresh avocados and took my dogs on a walk and then it came to me you know what do your video right now don't even wait till you get back to the house so that's what happened but um so anyway i think it's because information is so readily available one thing that i learned from engineering school is it it taught me what things to google or what things to look at but i'm going to tell you i have not learned one single thing in college that was not on youtube not one my teachers wouldn't explain it good i would go study youtube and learn how to do it and then i would go take the test and people would be like danielle why are you so good at this uh because i was up watching youtube all night not studying the notes um some of the notes the teachers would give were okay but we didn't get to spend enough time on it and anyway so if you want to do something um and, and actually on your phone, if you have an iPhone, I don't know about Android, but if you have an iPhone, they have like the eye, mm, it has like a little gradu graduation cap. Excuse me, I just ate, like I said, um, before the walk. Um, it's like iEDU or iEd or Ed, I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, if you know what that, if you know what I'm talking about, please leave it in the comment below. But um, it's free. Literally, there's like the whole aerospace engineering degree courses are on there for free everything is there for free and you don't even have to say you have a degree to apply at a job literally if you can get into the interview and that usually just takes somebody you know pretty much the same as um even if you have a degree a lot of you probably have a degree or saying why can't i get a job why can't i get an interview because you don't know anybody that works there the way i got my job the way i got my interview was a job fair because i knew if they could just meet me in person they'll feel my energy and i'll get in i went to an inter interview i mean i went to the job fair and they gave me um the golden ticket they say we give this away one um and i manifested that and i didn't realize that i was even using the law of attraction at that time um but anyway so um <clears throat> i probably should make this i should probably wrap this up because i really don't want my phone to die but dang it's just so fun to talk about um but anyway if you're if you're using um your if you're not getting a job and you have the degree and you're wondering why am i not getting it start practicing spirituality because you'll attract somebody or something that'll get you in the door and almost every single thing if not every single thing that's happened to me has been through another person it's connections y'all and that's why i think youtube is such a beautiful thing i'm getting goosebumps do you feel that energy i feel it i feel it i love it it feels so good it feels so good to be on a natural high um so youtube right now people are waking up it is like whoa 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 it's happening it's happening um energy is um i don't i don't know enough about the stars to know i know we're in some kind of cycle right now and my sister's told me a little bit about it and something is happening but um I can't, I, I don't know enough about it to talk about it, but I can tell you that something big is happening. And um, if you believe it's happening, leave a comment and say, I believe it's happening. And if you believe that you don't need college to make your million, say you don't need college to make your million and watch it happen. Watch it happen and spread those good vibes. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. All right, my phone legit is about to die this time. So I'm gonna let y'all go, but mwah, love you so much. And, uh, Give me a subscribe, thumbs up, share it, all that good stuff.